hey y'all welcome to Mandy's closet I want to thank you for stopping by because I just appreciate anybody that does not getting a lot of comments feel free to comment am I boring you what am I doing don't be mean don't be mean you hear what I'm saying don't be mean let me show you why you don't need to be mean Come here. this is why Come here. You will hurt my baby's feelings. You will hurt my baby's feelings. This is Sam, and he will get so upset that you hurt his mommy. Oh, yeah, that's enough. Oh, what a mama's good boy. Oh, that's a mama's good boy. Anyway, y'all comment down below. I'm looking for 100 subscribers because I will do a giveaway. As I just got home from work, I redid my foundation real quick because I don't want to look like I've been wearing it 15 hours. So, but I don't have my eyes done. Being over 40, I did not learn as a youngin how to do my eyeshadow correctly. I mean, you just put one color on and sometimes it was that Mary Kay blue which blues coming back don't get me wrong um, but it was popular back in the day and I remember my mom taking her finger and doing it and put it we didn't have YouTube back in the day and since we didn't have awesome websites to refer to which what am I talking about I would be talking about myeyeshadowconsultant.com. Love that site. I'm on my second year of my membership. I think it's $19.99 a year or $29.99, um, but I will link it in the box of information below. Check it out. She gives you great tutorials. So what I'm going to show you tonight is on the new palette, which is the Too Faced Everything Nice palette. She has different looks for different palettes, from Makeup Geek to Urban Decay, Tarte, uh, Inglot, In Inglot, uh, <laughs> Lorac. She has them all, um, and she's always coming up with something new. She's always doing giveaways. Um, she's amazing. So I'm going to link her YouTube channel and her regular website down below because if you have trouble with eyeshadows and you have trouble with knowing how to put it on in the correct ways, this website is for you. Enjoy. Y'all stay tuned. I will be right back. Okay, everybody, so we're going to start with the Too Faced Everything Nice palette. And on the website, myeyeshadowconsultant.com, this is just a glimpse of what it looks like, and I'm doing that look right there. On this look, she has one, two, three, four, five steps, and I'm actually reading over it right now because, again, I'm not a pro. I need to, oh, I'm dancing. Anyway, I need to read over this and make sure that I know what I'm doing smooth out those creases in my foundation and on the lower lash line according to the directions I'm going to place live it up again I'm going to place this all over my bottom eyeshadow crease no that's not my eyeshadow crease I'm going to put this on the bottom of my eyelid I am using max 217 and playing air guitar. The next color I'm going in with is Marvelous, which is a sparkly lavender. And I'm using that with the Sigma E25 blending brush. My third color is that I'm going in with is BU. I'm going in with the Sigma Tapered Blending E35 blush. And if you notice, there's already a lot of color on there. So I'm blending, 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 blending. I don't blend like everybody else does, but I really try to blend it up. Once I get it in my crease, I blend it up. Then I take my Sigma, it's not in front of me, but my Sigma eyeliner pencil with a chocolate moon. And on the directions, it tells you to go in your top eyelash line and your lower eyelash line. So you can already tell that it's taking shape but I do make sure that I go back and forth to my directions because again I'm not a pro. 
Okay, so we're going to take this, and sometimes when I look at these, I think, oh my gosh, it's a lot on the outside. Kind of went too far outside of my eye. That's okay, I'm going to take care of that in just a minute. So this is just a simple Sephora brush, probably one of the first ones I ever got. And this is the crease, and I use it as a blender. And I am now using my Anastasia brow brush just to go ahead and let's finish up this look. I really love the Anastasia brow brush. It's actually pretty cool. And so let's finish up this look with a little bit of mascara. And of course, this is what I meant. I went a little outside the lines. Take the brush that you applied your foundation with and just go back over that. Cover it back up. It'll blend perfectly, I promise. I'm going in with my Lancome Definisils. I never say that right. Definisils, Definisils, Definisils. And singing it, it's all about that base. And then I take my favorite Tarte Lights Camera Lashes Mascara and that I use for my second coat. Okay, y'all, so that's it. I'm going to do a close-up um, of them, get a little closer, but please know that I'm going this week to get my eyebrows waxed, so don't judge. Just saying. I'm going to try one of those new eyebrow things where they use the thread. Maybe I'll take you along. I used a total of one, two, three, four, five colors just then. Pretty good. I like it. I love purple. It's like a smoky purple look. Are you looking at me? Are you looking at me? Okay, anyway, I hope you enjoyed this. Go to her website. I'm just telling you that somebody who's learning makeup by watching all these wonderful YouTube gurus and somebody who has taken it, learned, and grown, I just want to share what I know. MyEyeshadowConsultant.com. Check out her link in the box of information down below. And y'all, thank you for stopping by my closet. I'll talk to you later. Bye. Baby. Oh, he's my 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 baby. Oh, he's